Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzham.com and today we'll be doing a comparison between the Rolex Data President 40 here on my left, reference number 228-238 versus the IWC Portuguese Automatic 7 Day, reference number IW50113. Uh, we'll be going over the pricing, the dials, bezel, case, crown, bracelet or strap, and they clasp and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video okay so as of august 2017 you can get this rolex uh, rolex date uh, day date at a authorized rolex retailer for thirty four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars or you can come to jazzm.com and get it for as low as twenty six thousand dollars for the iw for the iwc you're looking at a retail pricing of $24,200 at the IWC retailer, or you can come to jazzm.com and get it for as low as $18,200. All right, let's move on and go ahead and compare those dials now. So already one visible difference is because of the larger, ca the larger case size on the IWC, we have much more, uh, much easier viewing of that, of the dial very pronounced numerals with the uh, Arabic numerals at the three o'clock or three o'clock position we have the uh, what we refer to as a seven days which is the power reserve uh, from the name at the nine o'clock position we have the second sub dial which obviously tracks the seconds whereas the Rolex just has a central seconds hand the hands are the hands are different as well in shape. We have sort of sword-like hands for the IWC, whereas Rolex has more of a, a flatter index style looking, uh, blockier looking hands. Roman numerals for the hour markers. Uh, um, the hands and the Roman numerals are all 18 karat yellow gold. The uh, Arabic numerals on the IWC are rose gold. For configure uh, for conf specific configurations and dial colors, um, there's not much change in the IWC. You're only allowed the IWC and either um, I believe steel Ar steel Arabic numerals with a white dial, or the rose gold with white dial, or the black dial with steel Ar uh, steel numeral uh, Arabic numerals. Whereas the Rolex Datejust for the numerals for specifically Roman, you can get the champagne dial, which I have in my hand here, or a white dial. If you're interested in stick markers or index markers, you can also get it in a champagne silver or black dial. So not too many configurations for either dial here. Uh, both both watches do have the date, uh, dates, of course, different aperture da uh, different apertures. So one at the six o'clock position for IWC, whereas the day date has it at the three o'clock position. Except that the date the day date has a cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for magnification and easier viewing of that date. And as the name states, it also has the day at the top, at the twelve o'clock position, whereas IWC only just has the date. Okay. So that's, that's just, those are just a few differences with the dial. Uh, moving on to the bezel now. The bezel uh, is more pronounced on the day date, as we can see that 18 karat yellow gold fluted bezel, whereas the IWC just has this very thin uh, rose gold bezel. However, both are high, both, both bezels are high polished. So they both have a nice shine to them. Moving on to the case now, we have the same same uh, sort of ideal with the case in terms of high polish on the lugs. You can see that the Date Date has high polished lugs, and the same thing with the IWC as well. The case size we're looking at uh, different case sizes. The the Date Date you're looking at a 40 millimeter case size, so from my index finger to my thumb, that's 40 millimeters in diameter. Whereas the IWC, IWC in, uh, is 44, I apologize, 42.3 millimeters in diameter from my index finger to my thumb here. All right. One of the main things that one of the main things that are different uh, is different is the profile of the watches. As you can see, the IWC has a much larger profile on the watch than the day date. Uh, specifically, the measurement for the IWC, you're looking at a 14 millimeter thickness. The day date seems to be almost three fourths of that. Okay. Uh, the side, the sides of the watches are are different as well. We have a nice high polish on the day date that travels and patterns very nicely with the sides of the bracelet, whereas the IWC has a nice satin finish down the center of the case with high polish around uh, around the edges, and it tapers very nicely to the bracelet as well. As you can see, those lugs taper uh, taper very uh, nicely to the strap. 
Moving on to the other side, I'll show you the other side here. The other side, same type, of, same type of deal here. We have the high polish on the side, or high polish for the day date, and we have that same satin finish and high polish on the top and bottom. The the for the crowns, we have both their individual logos, so the Rolex, Rolex, and the IWC on the IWC. Okay. One thing to mention is that both cases are made out of the respective material fully. So 18 karat yellow gold case uh, and we have 18 karat rose gold casing for IWC and that's for, the whole, that's, that's for the whole case. For the crowns, they both serve different functions. Uh, specifically for the data, I'll go through it really quickly here. This one's a screw down to lock double waterproofness system. So it's screwed tight, nice and tight in. It keeps the watch water resistance for up to 100 meters or 330 feet. And in this first position, you can wind the watch, as shown. The next position, with a simple tug of the crown, will allow you to adjust the date, as shown there. You can see that quick changing of the date, going counterclockwise, changes the day at the top. Okay, and a final tug of the crown will put you in the final position in which the second hand will stop for precise time setting and allowing you to adjust the hands as well. The stopping of the second hand is very important in this final step as it allows you to set the time down to the exact second, such as to an atomic clock online. You can keep your uh, timepiece uh, uh, very precise. Always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight against the, against the case. As you can see, that starts the second hand once more and keeps this watch water resistance. The IWC crown, the IWCs, serves a little bit different function and different style as well. You can actually yeah, you can actually wind the watch in this position, so you don't even have to pull the crown out or anything. You can just simply start winding it and look at that seven-day that seven-day indicator there. As as you see, as I just go ahead and manually wind the watch here, the indicator just goes up and lets you know how much how much life that your watch has and how long it'll still keep keeping time. As you can see, I've already passed the one-day mark, two days mark, and now I'm going to the three-day mark. So your watch. So you can actually see uh, how much how much uh, days are left in your watch for it to keep uh, continuously keep running. As you can see, the second hand is still moving. Uh, the difference between this this crown and the Rolex crown is this one is just a simple pull-out crown. You can just go ahead and tug that and start immediately start adjusting the date instantaneously, as like the Rolex. And then a final tug. Once again, same concept bi-directional movement of the hands to set and stopping of the seconds, uh, seconds hand and the second sub dial for precise time setting. And then of course, again, press the crown in and now you're watching. And now your watch is water resistant. Specifically for the IWC, I believe you're looking at a 50 meters, uh, 50 meters of water resistance. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the bracelet and the strap now. So of course, very different, very different in terms of uh, bracelet and strap. For the bracelet, you're looking at an 18 karat yellow gold, yellow gold bracelet, and it's a unique bracelet for the day date. It's called the President Bracelet, and what that is is it's a three-piece link bracelet with semi-circular, uh, semi-circular links, as you can see from the side, semi-circular. It has a satin finish or brushed yellow gold links on the outer parts, while the center, center portion of the links are nice, uh, nicely high polished for contrasting and adding additional shine. The IWC, you're just looking at a simple brown alligator leather, str leather strap. With the class, as we move forward, the class, the class are different as well. The Rolex has a, the Rolex uh, is called the folding, uh, apologize, concealed folding crown clasp, in which you can open, open the clasp by locating the little Rolex logo here and popping off into this beautiful 18 karat yellow gold high polish clasp blades with the Rolex name embossed on there. The IWC class is sort of looks, uh, I'm saying class because this is, it looks like a buckle, uh, like a tang buckle, but it's actually not. So we have the IWC name embossed onto this sort of sand finished rose gold on the strap, but actually you can just go ahead and pop that right off and bam, there we are. We have a, we have a sort of a folding class on this one as well. Uh, high polish on the side of the class blade with the IWC name is onto that sandblasted center. So very nice. Uh, 
One thing to mention is that obviously you'll be able to adjust the IWC very easily and it, is, it does sort of have a hybrid type of tang buckle where you can just go ahead and adjust through the holes whereas the President, it's just uh, you cannot adjust it. You'll have to take it to a watchmaker and have them remove links or add additional links in order to fit your wrist properly. All right, so I'm go ahead and snap that back on as, as we move on to the movements now. So for the Rolex movement, uh, this is actually a newer style movement that's housed in this uh, 18 karat yellow gold case backing. Uh, it is as Rolex's mechanical s perpetual mechanical self winding movement. It is a, it is their caliber 3255 movement that was released in 2015. It's in COSC certifications, which is minus two plus six, two seconds a day. Um, has the functions of center, hour, minute, and seconds hand with instant change, change instantan instantaneous changing of the date and the day aperture and uh, stopping of the seconds hands that I've shown you. The hairspring is a paramagnetic, or the oscillator is a paramagnetic mag blue pericum hairspring which adds additional magnetic resistance. But the main, the main key about this movement compared to other Rolexes and such is that the escapement is actually a skeletonized escapement called the uh, Chronergy with optimized energy efficiency of about 15% and gain in efficiency from transmitting energy from the wheel to the lever to the balance itself. And that helps gives this watch a power reserve of 70 hours. So you can put this watch down on a uh, Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday evening, and it'll just be keeping time just fine. In comparison to that, we're going to the IWC movement now, which is housed in this beautiful case backing with a sapphire, uh, completely transparent sapphire glass case, or sa sapphire crystal case, sorry, not glass, sapphire crystal case. Uh, this oscillator, you can see the oscillator takes, about, uh, takes up about half the watch, as you can see there. It's a very large oscillator with the IWC name embossed on there as well. Uh, patterning, the, patterning on the movement itself, not too many Geneva stripes or patterns on it, uh, but it's still made up of 42 joules and it has that power reserve of the uh, 168 hours, which is the seven days as indicated on the three o'clock position. So much longer power, power reserve than the, than the day just. Uh, okay, all right, so let's go ahead and show you the swatches on the right wrist. So let's go ahead and pop open. So Rolex crown, found, pop open, snap that back on, nice and easy, very beautiful contrasting of that high polish, okay, and there we are. So there's a Rolex on my wrist, very beautiful, love that champagne dial. All right, and for the IWC, once again, it's just a simple folding buckle. Snaps back on, strap it in, nice and easy. Very high profile, as you can see, as I'll show you again. This, these are the profiles of the watches. Okay, but the IWC by itself, very beautiful but white dial. Just very simplistic, very elegant. And here they are together, okay? So if you're interested in these watches or any other watches for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazzsound.com. Where the lowest price is guaranteed and we uh, we offer a one-year warranty. Okay? And if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.